Welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to work with the transitions element. And on the left hand side menu, you'll want to go to the transitions. And transitions are a way for you to be able to go from one part of your video to another and give your viewer something to focus on other than a hard edit. So for example, if we were to go to a place where there was a break and we wanted to start talking about something different, what we need to do in order to implement a transition is that we would need to go to the timeline, highlight all of the elements, and then we would need to hit the split command. Once we have the split command, we can then use the transitions in order to give our viewer something else to focus on. So for example, we can choose any of the transitions that you'll see here on the left hand side panel. They are also divided into certain sections. So if you want to have a fade, if you want to have movement, if you want to have objects, if you want to have a stylized one, or even if you want to have one that wipes. And so what we're going to do is we're going to actually drag this transition down to the timeline. And what you're going to notice is that it is going to land the actual video track. Now let's see what the transition is actually going to look like. So we'll back the cursor up and then we'll hit the play button. And if we look in this area, if we look here, the editor will show us what our transition is going to do. So as you can see, what transitions do is they give us a break so that if you have two ideas and you're trying to share them differently, it's a great way of being able to display to your viewer that something has changed. Now, you can do the same thing with a different kind of object. So all we would need to do if we wanted to delete this transition right click it and then click delete and then we would drag this transition down to the timeline so once again we're going to back this cursor before the transition and you can see how it's actually going to look with your content so once again you are going to go to the timeline where you want the transition to be situated And let's say that we want it to be situated someplace between these two slides. Now, one thing that you can do to get your transition exactly right is you can actually stretch the timeline. So for example, what we want to do is we want to get it as close to being between these two slides as we can. And we can do that by stretching out the timeline, hitting the plus button. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the exact point where the slide changes. And once we found the space on the timeline that we want to actually have our transition appear, we're going to find the place and then we're going to hit the split command. It's going to split the video track. What we're going to do is we're going to drag this transition right down on top of that video track. We're actually going to then take a look to see how it's actually going to look. And what you'll notice is that the process that we just went through actually changes when the slide changes. And we accomplish that by stretching out the timeline and getting the cursor exactly at the point where the slide transitions. And this is a great way of being able to give your viewer an element of variety while they are watching a tutorial. But you can do this with any element that you're actually going to be using. Even if you're using a talking head video, you can do the very same thing. Now, of course, like every other element, if we place our cursor on top of the transition, it actually has its own properties. And we can actually change it in the properties area. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.